Oh, Buckley Bands. Yep, it's Friday already, which can only mean one thing. It's time for the weekly news report. This week we start off with a, a kind of bit bittersweet story with the, the girl Cosso vowing to end his, his career in style. The, the former the four time world champion takes the takes the ring to, for the for the final time the, 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 this weekend and he he vows to end his career in style. I, I, I think it's it's the right time for for him to end his, his career as he is still a, a world champion and I'm sure he would love to keep it that way and I'm definitely sure he would he, he would love to win his he, final fight by knockout I'm just hoping that it's not going to be another one of these where he says he, he, he's retiring and then about 18 months later decides to come back I hope that if, if he does retire he decides to stay retired but I would, I would, I wish him luck for, 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 for his final part on Saturday, and I, I wish him, I, I wish him luck in whatever he decides to do in the future. In the news, British heavyweight da David Price still believes that he's got world, world title am ambitions, as he be he begins his yet another another comeback this 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 Saturday night. The 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 but Price himself still still believes that he's capable of winning a world title. Now don't get me wrong, I am a, a big fan of, of David Price and I think he's got all all the, the skills to do some se serious damage in the heavyweight division by the one that really matters. He can't, he can't take a punch. He's he's got a glass jaw. You can see that from his his first couple of, of, of losses. As soon as someone lands clean on his chin, he hits the floor. So okay, he might come back and he might he might win a few fights, but I don't think he's got the punch resistance to go, go up against, against someone like a, a Wilder or or a Joshua. But we'll we'll see what happens. And again, I wish I wish him luck in his comeback. But I think if he puts another, another loss on the on the, on the side. I mean, you should really consider hanging the gloves up. Now, you may remember that, that a few weeks ago, I reported to you that, that James DeGale will be defending his IBF World Title on the 9th of, of December in London. The World Champion has said that in 2018, he would love to stay in, in, in the UK to fight, as his, his past few fights have, have been abroad. I, I think if, if, if he does manage to get some good fighting in, in the UK, that will once again boost his, his profile back in the UK because I think a lot of UK fight fans, he's kind of the forgot, forgotten champion. They, they remember him when he fights, but because they haven't seen, they, they haven't seen every, every time he fights, he kind of gets a bit, a bit left behind. So I think. If he, if he can get two or three fights in, in the UK into, into, in 2018, not only will it be good for his career, it will also be good for British boxing. But we will have to wait and see. In other news, Carl Fratch believes that, that George Groves has got a mountain to climb when he takes on Chris Eubank Jr. in February in the World Boxing Super Series. Now, Carl Froch is in a rather unique situation given the fact that, that he, he used Uber, Uber Jr. as his main spot, sparring partner for his rematch with Groves at Wembley Stadium and he believes that, that Eubank should, should have more, more, more than enough to defeat, defeat George Groves 
Either way, it's far to, to, to predict a knockout. I'm not sure whether that will happen, as yes, Uber has got better since he sparred with 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 Frosch back then. But either way, so 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 as as George Grove, he, he, he's a, a lot a lot more mindful of the punches that come his, his way. But he's also a, a much better a much better def defensive fighter. Whoever wins, it's it's going to be a bit. A big fight in, in February. So, so what surprised him this week? Uh, 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 Errol Spence Jr. came out and said that, that Le Lamont Peterson is a better fighter and has got, has got more heart than, Ke than Kel Brook. Now, this was a, a bit surprising to me uh, as Errol Spence does not seem the sort of fighter to get embroiled in, 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 in trash talk. But there we go. I can't say how he says that that, that Brooke is a a better fighter because because um, Brooke has fought at a, a much higher higher level than Peterson. As you remember, P Peterson was was banned uh, at one point during during his career for um, failing a drug test. And uh, as far as heart goes, yes, okay, uh, uh, Aerosmith knocked him out, but that was only because of of the injury that the the Brooks sustained in the fight. He couldn't actually actually see Smith to hit him. So when he when he went down in the fight and didn't get back up, it wasn't because he couldn't get back up. It was because he didn't want to risk any further injury. If it uh, if it had been for the injury. I really, really think that Ke the Kelbrook would have not knocked him out. I'm sorry if that if that sounds like I'm ranting, but I don't I, I don't think Aer 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 Aerosmith knows what he's actually talking about. I think to be honest, he's either a just trying to sell his fight with, with Peterson, or b just trying to to, to, to wind Kelbrook up, which might do Kelbrook the, the world of the world of good as he. He's now back in full training for, for his combat fight. Uh, and I'll bring you more news on that when I get it. So this week, Joseph, Joseph pa Parker's promoter gave, gave a wish list of, of the news that, that he, he would like to, to face Joshua in, in, in including the, the new camp in Barcelona. According to Joshua's promoter, the, the, the deal for, for the fight is about two, two weeks away, away from being finalised and yes, the, the new camp is one, one of the, the venues being discussed along with several others fr throughout Europe and of course Wembley in the UK. I, me personally, this could be just me being a bit selfish, I think Wembley it, it, is a better choice because it's one of the biggest stadiums in the world and trust me I don't think there's anywhere that can get as good uh, as good an atmosphere uh, as when they say you full of fight band during my event the, the last time I was there w was for jo Joshua Kletchko and during the fight you, you actually couldn't hear, hear yourself you, you, you also think finally the, 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 finally, Tony Bay's focus re, re, remains on the on the re, on the rematch with, with Dave, De, David Hay. Despite the fact, despite the fact that that um, the Tyson Fury offered to replace him. He, he said that the, 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 the Tyson Fury fight is on the, on the table for next year, but his main, his main focus at, at this point is to get the rematch on with with, the, with David Hay as as as, he, as he is fit. Right, I think that you guys all, all caught up with everything going on in the world of boxing. Have a, have a good weekend and I will speak to you guys next week. Bye.